Hey guys, what is going on? It is Justin Masson from Nintendo Dads, and there has been a leaked video, apparently rumored, uh, of a Nintendo Switch 5.0 firmware update. Now, before I go into the video, I do want to say it's basically been debunked as not true. There's a lot of things that make it seem false. Um, a lot of the Twitter feeds have already been saying like, hey, these numbers don't align, especially when you talk about the gigabytes on the system. So I want to say this, this is cautious, all right? It's pretty much saying it's false. Also, the video has been pulled off of YouTube. I can't find it anywhere. I actually had to find a copy of someone else's video to be able to extract that to, to show here. So again, cautiousness, I really don't believe it. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pretend we're going to pretend suspension of disbelief, if you will, that this video is 100% true. It came from NOA, it came from Redmond, someone just got fired, they've leaked it out. Let's pretend that it is real, that it is real. Okay, a couple things I wanna call out. So we're gonna play the video, obviously. Uh, a couple things that I find interesting here. Uh, folders, this has been something that we have been asking for. We have a ton of games, we want folders. Totally makes sense, seems legit, seems like a good idea. Uh, I can't imagine them not eventually adding folders anyway, so the folders are added there. The video also calls out a couple streaming services on here. Uh, YouTube is mentioned, note that it's an old YouTube logo. Uh, Crunchyroll, Twitch, uh, Hulu I think is mentioned on there as well. So yeah, okay, throw some folders into our, st um, some streaming services into folders. That's a grand idea. A couple other things that, um, it definitely stood out there is the ability to create lobbies, uh, create online lobbies for specific games. So ARMS, uh, Splatoon, and Mario Kart 8 were called out. It seems okay, seems interesting. Um, it seems like a decent idea. Very similar to probably what we saw when we saw uh, with the Wii U, right? You kind of create lobbies, invited friends. Now the interesting part in here is that the mess there's a message section. So apparently you can now maybe send messages back and forth and communicate again. That feels like a very Wii U thing. Um, if it was maybe connected to the app in some way, that would be kind of cool. That would be very, very cool. Um, there's mention and screenshots in here as well, or, or uh, areas as you run over that actually shows like audio jacks and, and where you're getting your audio signal into uh, and voice capture. So that makes it seem like voice capture may not necessarily be on the mobile device, but maybe now on the actual hardware um, or some software update to make that occur on the hardware. Again, that's one of those things that's like, ooh, that like, I'd love that, but that really doesn't quite feel like it's actually going to be there. So who knows? A um, couple other things here that we see is storage um, referenced here, and they actually reference cloud storage. Very small amount of cloud storage, like about two gigs of, of cloud storage, which would indicate obviously you're not necessarily saving games, but maybe saved data in relation to the games that you have played, right? Your save files could possibly go there, so there's a reference point to that. Um, and then the, and then kind of like the big, the big reveal at the end is it like skins, uh, at the background, background skins as opposed to your black and your white instead it's like, oh, here's a Breath of the Wild. This probably feels, um, the most probably true to form. I think this into folders feel like, yeah, these are just definitely going to happen one day. Um, I mean, you, you scroll down to your My Nintendo rewards and it's like Switch rewards coming soon. We currently have, you know, 3DS skins that you can get basically for your phone or for your device. It would make sense that the Nintendo Switch would eventually have skins. So that's one of those things. It's like, oh, that feels that feels like it could make this legit. Um, so again, guys, it's kind of a suspension of disbelief. They also say that this apparently may be rolling out um, at in February, early February. We apparently have a Nintendo Direct coming in the next week potentially. The alignment, the the timing of it feels like it could occur. Um, but there's a lot of things that just don't feel right about it. So I'd love to be wrong, um, but those are my uh, kind of commentary. And again, guys, this is suspension of dis disbelief, pretending like it might actually be 100% true. Uh, you know, and by the way, if you're the person who did this video and it's not true, well done on you and your design. Like, wait, well, that's that's pretty pretty well done. Like, it captured a lot of people's attention. Um, but you know. You never know what's gonna happen. So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this little short snippet and video of uh, of the 5.0 firmware rumors. Again, rumors. A lot of it's kind of already been debunked, but let's let's just play along, shall we? Let's play along and see what I think. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in to Nintendo Dads, all things Nintendo and uh, dad related. So that's cool. All right, talk to you later. Bye bye.